We just strolling down the block, man. You know what I'm talking about? Doing what we do on time, time, day. You know what I'm talking about? No, but uh, enough of me talking. Let them know, man, who we got in the motherfucking building, man. Man, it's Modi, man. You know, I got mad love, Central City. But you know, it's Emerald, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Out here for my cousin day, man. We're one of the motherfucking big homies, man. True that. A lot of game, man. A lot of game for you lames, man. You might miss some shit, man, if you don't listen close enough in this interview, man. Hey, so, true that, true that. You know what I'm saying? It. And, man, look, this block got a lot of motherfucking history, man. Boy, Let them know what, what block we on again. Hey, listen. 75th and Emerald, man. This shit, like, this shit iconic, man. Y'all think what y'all want to think, man. Like, we come from the real shit. Boy, listen, heavy hitters, for sure, they got put out off this era. Now, now just name a couple people, man, that came up off this block, lived on this block, was on this block, got the major history from this block. Man, listen, we got, first of all, we got we got Big Dirt. Salute. Salute. Salute to General at all times. At you know all times. Listen, the whole squad used to be coming in and out this motherfucker, man. Some real members, you know what I'm saying? His whole team, you know, them guys that stood up with him on that thing, and, you know, ain't nobody fold like laundry. So, you know, you see how them boys coming now. So they come from here. Like I'm a shorty watching them here. Then you know we got we got Silk from Ada Park, one of the real BD. Shout out. Huh? Say Silk. what? You talking about who? Man, listen, Ada Park, Silk, man, one of the real BDs. Man. Used to be on this block. Man, listen, used to be live family house, boy, right here. What you talking about? Right and there? who is Silk? Man, come on, man, y'all know who that is. That y'all know that's Bond Daddy, man. Come okay. On. You know what it is? Come on, hey, listen, bosses make bosses, so you know that that's what happened. Cause now we gotta look at Big Dirk's situation. We gotta look at his son. So this shit is is historic. You know, like the, them young niggas was bred from top tier gentlemen. You understand me, gangsters? But they was top tier gentlemen before anything, boy. Listen, secured the bag. That's where we came from. Man, you know, that's true that, true that, true that. It speaks. All my big homies, look at them, still flourishing. Nobody got smut on their name or nothing. So. When I come here, this shit like give me chills. It's emotional because I got so much love for my hood because I learned so much and took this shit out into the world. Hey, you know but look, like, but look, you know, I don't mean to cut your cypher, no, but you know, you know what I'm saying? But look, we you know what I'm saying? We touched on, on on Big Dirk real quick one time, right? You know that. Salute. Let, 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 them, say, let them know about Herc. Who is Herc? Oh, man. Where oh, Dirk man. got his name from. Look, look, let no. them Listen, it's, it's kind of crazy because like me and my brother got different different old men, different pops. So, but Herc is actually my oldest brother, Pops. You know what I'm saying? That nigga was like, like the really, the brain of a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, when y'all think about a car, y'all just think what the car look like. Y'all not thinking about the engineering behind the car. So if you get what I'm saying, he was the engineering behind the machine. You get what I'm saying? True that, Hope true that. y'all don't miss that in this interview. The big Dirk true most that. definitely salute, but you know, it was the engineer behind that machine too. So, you know, that's who Herc was. Man, real, man, listen. And there's been a lot of rappers too that came out on this block. This block got a lot of people that came down this block, went and came, man. You know what I'm saying? You know a lot of history, man. What else listen. you want to tell us about this block, man? Man, listen, I want to talk about the whole fucking hood. The whole hood. The talk block, about it. The block is solidified. The hood, iconic. Listen, we undefeated. Just know that. Ain't no rats from over here. You know what I'm saying? We on birth rats. This, this new generation, what y'all doing, we don't understand that. You don't talk on it. We all gentlemen, top tier gentlemen. Ain't no smut on the, the cameraman name, my name, no motherfucker from over there. Talk about name. it. So that's how we rocking. So that, that shit make me proud, you know what I'm saying? To be a part of something so, you know what I'm saying? Epic. You know, we had his Father's Day picnic every year. How many years we were having that? That's been for, 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 for the late 90s, isn't it? So, so uh, listen, and, and what it's always been being, love, right? Love. Right. Pete, right. We, I think the old man, old man, uh, uh, mama came out one time. A lot of uh, rappers that came out. Man, listen, rappers, we, we had niggas from all type of neighborhoods, the Stones, the BDs, and it never be no push. So I'm saying that to say, bro, man, all this hate y'all got for each other, man, and all this shit, man, listen, we really, we really bigger than that's the token and everything. We bigger together, and I watched it growing up. I watch, I, I come from watching niggas be together and making it happen. So you can't tell me nothing about that. You know what I'm talking about. And if you could tell something to the youth out there right now, man, what could you tell these young, young, young niggas out there, man? Man, get it now. Be yourself. If you lame, be lame as hell. I got best friends I grew up with, man. You know, I really was always with the shit being hard headed. One of my friends right now drive trains. He's a train engineer. So be yourself, man. If you comfortable with yourself, you don't gotta pretend. A lot of y'all getting hurt for pretending and being in situations that y'all ain't ready for. 
So if you just be yourself, everything will be smooth. And That's if you can tell something say, to the OGs out there, what would you tell the motherfucking OGs out there, man? Talk man, to them. Listen, man, stand up, man. Pull your pants up, man. Get some heart, man. Look these young men in the face and tell them when they wrong, man. Stop egging on the bullshit. Straight up. That's it. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Let them know again who in the motherfucking building, man. Man, Modi, man. Central you already City, man. know. All in the building. Money, Ugh.